everybody, I am Moldy West, and this is Okami once again. I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I just switched to recording this with a different recording program because I've noticed for a while when recording this and some other games with OBS, I get this weird glitch where the audio sort of crackles when I get loud. And it's been really annoying and I can't seem to figure it out. It doesn't do that with Darksiders 2, but it does do it with this and with Crash Bandicoot and with Skyrim when I was recording the Daedric Hunt the other day. And I decided, well, back when I recorded that episode of Crash Bandicoot 3, the audio wasn't crackling when I recorded with this program, but the footage glitched out on me and I couldn't use that. But it did, did do that audio thing with OBS, and I, I just don't understand it. I thought I had it figured out, but I was wrong! OBS is just a heinous bitch sometimes. Let's leave it at that. And now, where exactly am I supposed to go? Where would I find this queen? Do you know where the queen is? Have you noticed that the mist over the city has suddenly disappeared? There must have been some change in the Emperor. Yeah, like that suit of armor that I killed. We'll take credit for that, thank you very much. Hey, wait, what about your sister? Why didn't you try to help the Emperor? Couldn't your mystical powers have located the source of that mist? I knew it! You and him, Miko, are up to no good! That... that was my mistake. But I'm just a priestess, you know. I can't go snooping around the Imperial Palace for no reason. Anyway, if you cleared up the mist, then I offer my congratulations. So then, now that that's resolved, it's on to the next problem. So, yeah, where's the damn queen? However, the water dragon is a much bigger problem. No trading ships can get through, the city's food is running low, and the evil besieging our fair land still looms large in the shadows. Now it is exactly the time we need them. If only we had the fox rods. Yeah, that's right. You mentioned them fox rods that were supposed to be in that ship, but they weren't there. But instead we got something else, and I don't remember what that is! You're a persistent one, aren't you, mutt? For whatever reason, the curse seems to have dissipated. There's still a sinister presence on the Ryoshima coast, though. But we won't let it lay a finger on Queen Himiko. Now we guards won't let any evil get the better of us. Bah, Himiko's people all sound like a bunch of parrots. Maybe they can stand up to the evil of those monsters. But I bet they're no match for the brush techniques of the gods! You mean, like, cutting them with a big old paintbrush? I said cutting them! There! Suck it, assholes! And they just fucking disappeared for a second. I don't care, shut up! What if I blow you away? Well, that doesn't seem to be working. Hold on a moment. Let's slow them down. Ha! Too fast for you, bitches! Ha 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 ha! Am I gonna have to do that over and over again for more guards? Is this gonna turn into a stealth mission? Okay, I don't see any more guards. Good. They only served as a road black. So it's off to see the queen, then. You aren't the queen, are you? Or are you? You're purple, and that's kind of weird. Handmaiden. Oh, that's just a veil over your face. Why, it really is you. Your Majesty Queen Himiko has foreseen your coming. You must not delay, please. Queen Himiko awaits on the top floor. Himiko's waiting for us! If you're really the ones Queen Himiko has been looking for, even a boiling sea of flames won't stand in your way. Do I have to cross over a pool of lava? Well, shit. Yep, 
boiling sea of flames, and I got a scroll about holy artifacts. A scroll drawn by a wandering artist contains useful information, and I don't give a rat's ass. Well, what the heck? What's all this lava doing here? She did say a boiling sea of flames is soon. Get your head out your ass! You may be a god. You may be god now, but you'd end up a crispy critter if you fell in this stuff. But we won't give up that easily. Did Mika really think this could stop the Great Tamatarazu? Why don't you just equip that thing you got? Uh, that thing? You mean that scroll? That Himiko sure makes things difficult. She must really have a good reason for wanting to keep people away. Hey, get going. Now, uh, what thing are you talking about? I, uh, oh, this, the fire tablet. I'll just put that on right there. So, can I walk through lava? I can swim through lava. That makes sense. So the fire tablet lets me do just that. Okay. Nice. These are some weird looking doors. And it's a long hallway and I might as well save since I'm here. <laughs> why, why would I not save? What do we have here? Hey, Emmy. I bet that's Emiko. Looks like that freaky shut is praying or something. And I see wolf ass. Alright, so what now? Heh <laughs> the security here is pretty tight, but nothing we can handle. Bark. Bork, bork. Yeah, you tell her! Benevolent Amaterasu, I have been waiting for you. And as soon as the traveling artist, you too, of course. Uh, oh god, I got gas. Hey, how you know our names? Uh, I, why am I burping all of a sudden? That's not good. I don't want to go barfing on my keyboard. That happens if you burp too much, you know. Anyway, first thing first. You knew about that funky mist and the water dragon, didn't you? And that old man's kidneys! You've got some explaining to do. Tell us what you're up to. Sob. My people, my poor people, their suffering torments me. But nothing more so than that old man's smelly kidneys. Sickened by this mist and terrorized by the dragon and, frankly, quite annoyed by that old man's kidneys. The cries of their pain wash over me like a torrent. Sob, sob. So, is that it? You're just sad. We know what's going on. You're tormenting the people of this city. You might be a monster feeding off the ill will it generates. The suffering of the mist. The annoyance of the old man's kidneys. And people getting murdered by a goddamn water dragon. Now stop stalling and raise this grimy old curtain. Come on, show yourself, you old hag. It's soon. Your words are very harsh. But you are right. It was rude of me to hide my face from you. So am I gonna have to fight you or what? And you still hide your face. Why are you hiding behind a leaf? Benevolent Armatarasu, I, Himiko, the ruler of Saiyan City, offer my most sincere apologies. Okay, there goes the curtain. So, what? Do we fight now? Any day now. Slow ass curtain. Queen of Saiyan City, Himiko! Well, there he goes. As ruler, I can't stand by and watch my people suffer. I, Himiko, will not allow this evil to darken Saiyan. My prayers will not cease until we are rid of this curse. Until I have located the hateful monster's stronghold, Goli Island. 
well, I don't think praying is going to help you find that island. Maybe they went up onto, onto a tower, got out of a telescope, and started looking around at the sea. You might find it poking out of the water. It is an island, after all. So, we soon, what you doing? Just rolling around, okay, on my head. That works. What does it matter, monster stronghold? Are you saying that's the source of your city's problems? Can't say I've ever heard of Odie Island or whatever you call it. And what do you mean you're trying to locate the island? I think I know where the island is. Perhaps located deep within the old man's smelly kidneys. <laughs> I'm going to reuse that joke until the day I die. I mean it. It's an island, right? It couldn't have just floated away. Oh, the island is elusive. So, where is it? It vanishes each day at sundown, shifting to a new location. Okay, that makes more sense. No one knows where in the vast wide ocean it will reappear. So even if I wanted to dispatch an army there, it would never arrive. You don't say. Still, why'd you stay cooped up in his room all day long? I mean, what good will it do to simply pray day in and day out? Absolutely nothing, I assure you. Praying never really helps anybody. It does make you feel good, though. She's trying to mess with us! This is the treasured crystal ball. See? It's a ball made of crystal. What more do you expect? My family, the, Yam the Yamatai clan, has ruled Saiyan City forever. This crystal ball has passed down through the generations. I can foresee the future of it. It told me you were coming. And it will tell me where the ocean, Oni Island, will appear next. Interesting. You could find Oni Island in a jiffy with that thing. Exposing a stronghold like Oni Island demands much holy power. And it wouldn't help having if I, 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 smelling the old man's kidneys doesn't help me. That's what I was trying to say, but my brain wasn't working. That old man's kidneys are the source of all the world's problems. But if our enemies knew about my prayers, they would stop at nothing to prevent me in my mission. That is why I have locked myself away. Prayers are our only hope, and certainly not an old man's smelly kidneys. But the, but the spearhead of the enemy's forces may already be on its way. And what exactly is that spearhead? <laughs> that's a pretty good story, Quinny. But I'll go along with it. I mean, what the heck? I'd do anything for a pretty lady. <laughs> and force field. Ouch. Thanks for the warning. Be careful. You cannot approach me now. By taking this crystal ball in my hand, a powerful magic barrier is erected to dispel any misfortune. You will be struck down by divine forces if you try to approach. Probably should have told him that before he tried to jump up your skirt. He does like to do that, you know. This crystal ball ensures my safety. Even if my enemies learn of my prayers, the barrier will protect me from their attacks. But how long will it last? That's what I'd like to know. 